The next component of planning is scheduling. Scheduling is all about how you plan to manage your time when undertaking a project. Time is often the least flexible aspect of what we call the triple constraints of project management. The triple constraints that are common to all projects are quality, cost and time. Compromising any one of these elements usually impact negatively on the others. In project management, a schedule represents the planned duration of the individual tasks of the project overall. There are five key elements associated with time management of a project. These steps are fairly intuitive, so let's identify the key processes before exploring each in a bit more detail. They are defining the activities, then sequencing these activities, estimating the activity resources required, estimating the activity duration to complete, and developing the schedule. It is important to note that the development of the schedule can only occur once all of these processes have been completed. Why do we need to take these steps before developing a schedule? The main reason for this is that a project manager needs to gather and analyse all relevant information and be very accurate in assessing how long each activity will take. Once both resources and duration have been assessed and estimated, a working schedule can be handed over to the project stakeholders for review. Now that we are more aware of the process, let's slow this down a bit and unpack each of the steps in a bit more detail. First, you need to define the tasks that need to be performed to produce the project deliverables or outcomes. These actions must relate to the deliverables as determined in your work breakdown structure. If a task does not fit with the work breakdown structure, then either the activity is unnecessary or something has been left out of the work breakdown structure. Once you have defined the activities, the activities need to be sequenced. Sequencing activities involves making decisions about the process flow of the tasks that need to be completed. In addition, certain tasks might be related, so you will also need to identify any dependent relationships between them. You can then move on to the next step, which is estimating the resources required for undertaking each activity. These resources might include materials, people and equipment to perform a particular activity. Estimating activity resources is closely linked to assessing and estimating the duration of each activity. Estimating task duration requires you to consider the amount of work needed to complete individual activities using the estimated resources. As you might have noticed, resources and time coexist with one another. The final step of time management is developing the schedule. The development of a schedule represents the output of the preceding five input processes that we have identified. By applying this process, you have now defined, sequenced, and estimated the necessary resources and duration of all the activities which contribute to the production of the deliverables. The initial draft of the schedule is prepared to combine all of the requirements that have been collected at this point. Scheduling is core to the planning process and it is important to note that the schedule can and should be refined multiple times before the implementation phase of the project commences. Constant monitoring and review in a changing environment is a key contributor to success throughout the project life cycle. Let's use Janet's DIY home improvement tiling project to illustrate the scheduling process. How might she approach this? You may recall that she has allowed herself four weekends for this project. In doing so, she has identified the amount of time it will take her to complete the project. Before compiling the actual schedule, it would be advisable to follow the scheduling process. A template, much like this one, can be used to complete a scheduling process. This is an easy and intuitive way to think about your project, what needs to be done, the resources required, and duration to complete each activity.